Hello, this is my pipe. So today we just went to Home Depot and we're gonna actually be testing this car for boost leaks. Now if you just recently installed a turbo kit on your car like I did, you probably wanna do something like this. Essentially what this is gonna do is just see if there's any air escaping from the turbo system, intercooler piping, intercooler, anything like that in the entire system. You might be wondering why it's a big deal to check for boost leaks. Well, if you have air escaping from the system, you are not hitting peak boost as quickly as possible, resulting in more turbo lag. Turbo lag is annoying, makes your car slower, and we don't want that. We want our cars to be fast. So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a boost leak tester tool out of some PVC. All right guys, so that's pretty much everything that we're gonna need to do this job. I got the correct size pipe now. I got the correct size cap. So essentially the idea of this, we're gonna cut a very short section of this pipe and we're going to put the cap on the end of it. The other end of the pipe is gonna plug into the turbo. Then we're gonna go ahead and connect a compressor fitting to a hole that we're gonna drill in the cap. And then we're gonna pressurize the system with some air from the compressor, about 30 PSI. We're gonna listen and feel for any boost leaks. Let's do it. Okay guys, so this is what uh, this is what we ended up with. Um, we ended up putting a little bit of thread sealant, as you guys probably saw in the time lapse, onto the fitting, and then threaded it straight into the hole that I drilled in the cap. We also put a little bit of sealant on this PVC before we put the cap on, just to seal in the air. Um, technically, we should have used like PVC cement, but I don't currently have any of that, so we just went with um, some caulk. And now we're gonna go ahead and let this sit inside for a little while, probably just gonna chill and play some video games, let this dry for just a little bit, and then we'll come out here and test it. It seems like it's gonna work really well, looks nice. All right, everybody, so we let it sit in the oven for a little while to help adhesive cure, and I am just out of patience, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this baby down, stick her on the turbo, and then we're gonna connect this compressor hose to this fitting while it's on the car. We're gonna pressurize the turbo system with about 30 PSI. Now we're just gonna listen and feel for leaks. Yeah, you can crank up the pressure a little. Just be uh, be conservative with it. All right, chill. Chill. What happened? You blew the cap off of it, dude. What did you go up to? Really? That was only 35 PSI? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just have to hold the cap on then. Go for it. No, don't go fast though. All right, I hear some leaks. Okay, so what do we have to do now for this one? It's this hose clamp yeah. right here? Yeah, let me tell them. Okay, so we actually just found our first leak, and this is actually so awesome because, as I said, if you have a boost leak, you're still gonna reach peak boost usually, unless it's a massive boost leak. You'll reach peak boost, but it'll take a while. It'll take longer, because you're losing some of that pressure that's building up. So we found a leak coming from the hose clamp that directly connects to the turbo, and then goes to intercooler piping. So I just have to really tighten that down, and that's, that's about it. We should have no boost leaks after that, and we should reach peak boost a lot faster, because it was really pissing out air. That was a lot of pressure. You felt that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a lot of leak. So to show you guys, it's, it's this blue, uh, coupler right here that's leaking. So I'm gonna just go ahead and loosen up both the clamps, reposition it, and then I'm gonna tighten it down real good. Okay. We have no boost leaks anymore. That is awesome. I bet we're gonna hit boost so much faster. Like actually, yeah. I really do. Let me check the oil real quick because I know that we are literally pissing oil everywhere with this car right now. And then we'll take it out for a drive. Yeah, I mean, oil's topped off. All right, boys, I'm about to do a poll. Uh, do you want to start data logging right now? And then I'm about to do a poll right here, and we are going to test and see if it feels like boost comes on sooner. Uh, I don't know how noticeable it is. I don't know, I wasn't really like wide open throttle or anything, but let me see, we'll try another one. You know what, I'll try third and I'll really give it some time to spool. Here we go, wide open throttle. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, that felt a little bit faster. 
faster. Did that feel faster to you? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I thought so. Yeah, that all right. Thing just kicked. Yeah, it's like it hits a certain RPM and then you like. But yet again, you gotta remember, it's a big boy turbo. Yeah, that is a pretty big turbo for this car. We'll try to do another pull. Maybe we'll try second this time. Wide open throttle and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, definitely scooting. I think it's definitely a little bit better. Scoot, scoot, man. Scoot, scoot. The boot, the boot. <laughs> We are officially building a lot more boost than we thought we were originally. Definitely feels like a lot more power. Well, I mean, I don't think we're building more boost. I just think that we're building it a lot faster because... More efficient. Yeah, because before it was taking so long to get into boost. I feel like now I can actually hear the wastegate opening, which means that I'm hitting peak boost pretty soon, actually. Ah, <laughs> dude. Freaking tight, bro. So everybody, that was probably a pretty short video. The boost leak test contraption thing that Rob and I made actually worked really well. It helped us find two boost leaks on the Civic, got those squared away, and now the thing seems to be, one, just running more smoothly, and two, hitting peak boost a lot sooner. It's not super noticeable, but it is definitely sooner because that wastegate opens up for quite a bit longer time, if that made any sense in English. So while that wasn't the most fun thing I've ever had to do, like it was definitely cool, but you know, it's not like installing a turbo kit or anything like that. It, it was definitely a super educational idea. I didn't actually think of this idea myself. 1.6 Motorsports, the guys that I go to for all my Honda parts and stuff, actually told me to do this. I went out there not long ago and had them check out the car and just kind of look it over after doing the turbo kit and everything. And they said that that was one thing they recommended doing so that I could try to pinpoint any boost leaks, just like I've been saying this whole video. And you know, I always tell you guys how much I love boost and like just wasting any of it is a huge problem for me. So the fact that we got that squared away, we're using all of the boost possible. That's amazing. That's a W in itself. So if you guys have turbo cars, you're more than welcome to use this method. It worked for me super well if you have a compressor and you have something you can cut a PVC pipe with, you got it. That's all I need. A couple extra components and that's it. So yeah, thank you to 1.6 for uh, recommending this idea to me. And that's all I have for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching. And as I always say, remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals, and live the dream, baby. Bye.